Hello everyone, Melody of the Sky Squad system here. I'll get straight to the point since this is meant to be a short video. This will be a primer on plurality and systemhood. We have a longer video about this subject planned for the future, but for now we're keeping it short and simple. What is plurality? Plurality, also known as multiplicity and systemhood, is a phenomenon where multiple people are sharing a body, or one or more identities in a singular brain exists as parts or fragments. This is a diverse spectrum of experiences, ranging from psychological to spiritual, disordered to non-disordered, dissociative to non-dissociative. There's a lot. How do people become plural? There's a bunch of different ways and reasons that people become plural. Some people are just born that way. Others may end up that way because of trauma or pre-existing conditions such as neurodivergencies, disabilities, and disorders. Some people made their handmates on purpose. Perhaps someone has a connection to metaphysical or spiritual realms and entities, and those become part of their system. What's it like to be plural? This is not a question with a singular answer. Every single system is different in their experiences and functioning, and each person or part within a system is also unique. Some systems may be like a big happy family, and others may not have enough communication to be close to each other. Some systems may argue a lot, and others may get along just fine. Some systems may have a lot of mental barriers, and some may have no barriers at all. Some systems switch a lot, and some may not switch at all. Some systems are big, and some are small. Some may be one person with parts, and others may be hundreds or thousands or even millions of people in a massive network or multiverse. The plural experience cannot be boiled down to just one thing. What are some plural terms to know? There are a lot of terms, most of which were made by systems to describe their own experiences, including a lot of micro-labels to describe origins, roles, and functioning. We're not going to go into all of them, as there are far too many, but here are a few of the most common. Headmate, cismate, system member, etc. These are all ways to describe a member of a system. Some may also use the terms part, facet, alter, and more. The above terms that I listed first are far more neutral and anything else should not be used unless the system in question makes it clear that they're okay with it. Fronting generally refers to being in control of the body. Co-fronting is when multiple people are in front at the same time. Co-con, co-conscious, means that someone is aware of the outside world without necessarily being in control of the body. Switching is when a headmate leaves or enters the front. A host uh, generally refers to a headmate that fronts a lot and is in charge of daily life. In tulpomancy slash paragenic circles, this may also refer to the original person in the body who made all the other headmates. The headspace, mindscape, wonderland, this refers to a place inside of the mind or that the system's mind has access to where headmates generally reside when they are not in front. This is a very short list. If you want to learn more terms such as other system roles or system types, check out any of the dictionaries that we'll share in the video description. Please note that all of these terms may have different meanings, nuances, and usages for different systems. Feel free to comment if you have experiences with specifics or exceptions to these terms and definitions. Where can I learn more about plurality? This is the part of the video where we plug our website. Plural Jumpstart is a site we made that lists a bunch of good resources for learning about plurality or brushing up on information, organized by subject and complexity. It also links to communities and resources that can help suspected or recently discovered collectives, or for systems that may have new headmates and need help figuring out their identities, things such as names and pronouns and whatnot. It's certainly not an exhaustive list, but it contains a lot of good links that you might want to share or read upon first exposure. Note that it does not directly explain every system type or headmate role, but it does link to resources that you can use to find lists of terms and explanations on these things. We want to keep this video brief to keep it accessible to people who are coming to our channel to learn about systems, so that'll be all for this video.
If you have questions about specific plural subjects, feel free to ask in the comments. If you're here to simply start discourse, please take that elsewhere. But we will do our best to answer any questions made in good faith. Thanks for watching. Remember to like and subscribe for more plural and gaming content. See ya!